What's up, guys? Today we're talking about how I shot my last music video. Uh, I haven't done a lot of them, but I'm really proud of the last one that I did. So first of all, it was a couple locations. Um, there was a bar, there was um, a street shot, walking shot, and a basement where it kind of all takes place. So, so there was two windows. One, I actually wanted the natural light coming in because the angle it was hitting at was like, it, it was casting us off light because it was cloudy that day and I needed some extra light. So then the other window that was in the back of the room, it was actually just like making it look like a crappy basement and that's not the look we wanted to go for. We wanted to kind of key in on just the subject and have kind of a moody background. So what we did there was I actually took the newer five in one and it's got like a covering with like the reflective side and all that. And it, I just basically took two clamps and and stuck it up in front of that window and it worked really good to like eliminate some of that light it bounced it back outside with one side and then the black was to suck in any light from the inside so then that was kind of taken care of i had to do a little bit of uh, shadows and posts and stuff but it basically took care of it um, otherwise it was just way too bright the next thing i did was light the subject and he's playing a piano which we tried to capture a little bit of um, cause he liked that it was an old piano and the problem is shooting wide enough to get him in the piano wasn't really an option. So I had to go kind of separate shots and just overlay and post, but you also had, um, like a stairwell in the background and it's a basement. So like there's a water, he a water heater and some of it didn't get out of the picture cause of the time restraints on the shoot. We were both very happy with how it turned out. Um, so anyway, lighting the subject. So I have my Sokani um, XP Pro 600, whatever. And sorry if you can hear my cats fighting. So I used the Sokani as the main key light. And then I took the a wand light. And in the basement rafters, I actually just clamped a wand light to give a little hair light. And it worked like super good just to like separate him from the background a little bit. And then I actually used a third little LED panel just to give him some uh, backlight. So I had a key, a backlight, and a hair light, and it just kind of like brought him out. I, I, the first couple test shots I took of him didn't have those extra lights, and it made the world of difference at the end um, when he's like framed in light. And that would be a recommendation for anybody shooting low budget videos, music videos or whatever. Just make sure your lighting is hitting the subject and framing them however you want the look to go, really. So then there was a lot of moving shots. And when I bought cameras, I bought them specifically because they have the image stabilization. Um, what we're on right now is the Lumix G85. And for the like price range that it is, it's like 700 bucks you cannot get a camera that has as many features as that it shoots 4k um, up to 30 frames and then it the stabilization alone though is just like totally worth it so that leads me to the next like kind of harder shot is keeping him in frame for the majority of it because he was kind of like <laughs> he was kind of waltzing around like kind of Mick Jagger style you know and it, that's what we were going for but to keep a stable shot without a gimbal without um, I actually do have a steady cam, but I didn't use it. I didn't bring it. The G85 did a great job just keeping him without too much bounce. And I didn't, I didn't actually uh, stabilize in post or anything. And you can see that it's just like, it's pretty smooth. It's a pretty, I'm just walking backwards from a low angle, wide angle to get him um, down the street singing his song, basically. In the bar, that was a little more tricky. Uh, he had... I, I needed some b-roll of the bar I needed uh, a couple just like setup shots we had some um, shot lists for the bar and I took b-roll with the 25 mil f17 for the Panasonic and for 150 bucks like the f17 saves your life in low light it just does a good a really good job and I took some close-ups I and you get that blurry separation and then I also just took the, a wide shot by stepping farther back with the 25 um, it just turned out pretty good. Like it, it's believable what we set out to do in that video, like the F17 on the F on the 25 mil is just like, it was a lifesaver. When I edited it, I knew there was going to be some, some problems. Like the basement shot was still a little too, too well lit 
and it was just time constraints like it had i taken more time i could have I could have decreased the light a little bit, but we, we literally had two or three takes downstairs. I did a handheld and two on the tripod, and then we had to go. And I was I was just super excited with this project. It was it took a little longer to edit, um, just because of the storyline and then a couple of the specific scenes he wanted in there took a little bit more. Overall, it turned out great, and I hope I can just post the whole video soon for you guys to see it. Otherwise. Um, I'm just going to have these little clips in there. Just I don't, I don't want to step on his toes for when he wants to release it. But it just, if you plan your shots, like the, the biggest key that I took away from it is him and I were very communicative before we just like went and did this video. And because we talked a lot and talked during the process and like, how does this, how is this going to look? And I was showing him on the camera what it looked like each shot. And if he was happy with it, then we'd move on. Um, having that shot list or an idea of it and, and communicating that between each other, that was like, that is just super important. And then it's, and it's like knowing your camera. Like I know what my can, my cameras can do in low light. I know what they can do in broad daylight. I know the equipment I need to bring to, to help them be like the best that they can be, um, up to my skill level anyway. And if you do that, if you set that plan, um, you can come out with some really nice looking things. And then everything else is just in post, like making it look a little more cinematic with, with a color grade, like that's. That's all things you have to learn, but it's also just part of the process. And um, try to get in camera the best you can get. The better the in camera image is, the easier it is for you just to tweak it and post. Um, and don't be afraid to like take the shot over again if you have the time. Bye, uh, I gotta do it again. Uh, I think the walking shot we did, um, we did it like halfway through before I was just like, no, let's try that again, let's start over. And the second one we, we were both happy with. So make your customers happy, you know, and, and do your best. And I'm excited because, like, I have a couple other music videos scheduled to be shot. And we're talking shot list, like, tonight, literally. And it's just, like, it's exciting. It's, I love video. I love all this part. And I just kind of wanted to show you this document part of um, a shoot that I actually did outside of YouTube for financial gain. <laughs> so it was a paid gig and I was I was just so happy to be on that's all I got so hopefully you enjoyed it let me know if you want to see the full video when I'm able to release it to you and uh, I'll catch you guys next time <laughs>